once again here we are continuing I'm doing a short little uh, series on Vim and just quick little uh, features of it mainly so far looking at auto completion we looked at word auto completion and we looked at line completion now let's look at file name completion so let's say you have a file that you want to uh, put into your script not actually embed the file but you know oops, the the name of the file so uh, let's say we want to uh, find a JPEG and we're gonna say we're gonna create an object we'll say or a variable here we'll say image equals and we want it to be a particular JPEG file what I'll do here is I'll say uh, I'll start typing image equals and I'll hit uh, control X control F and here it's you can see it gives me a list of folders and files files and folders um, and right here I can put in Firefox underscore wallpaper dot PNG and there we go it puts it in there now by default it went based on the directory that I'm in I'm currently started this script in my home directory so if you're working on a project you know you're gonna have the the, the files that you're gonna access in most cases in the directory or subdirectory of your project so once again control X control F brings you straight to um, the directory you're in uh, if we want oops, didn't mean to select that if you want to put a full path what you can do one of the things you can do is you can hit forward slash control X control F and you can see it brings you to your root directory and I can choose home and then I can hit control X control F and it auto completes my username because the only folder and file inside the home directory is my home folder sorry almost sneezed there okay uh, and now I can go uh, control X control F again and I'm inside my home directory here and I can go down and find that wallpaper file right there so once again control X control F will bring you uh, by default if you have not typed a forward slash or any other folder name control X control F to the directory that you're currently working in um, and you can scroll through those or you can start typing a uh, folder name so we can hit uh, forward slash bin and then I'll hit control X control F and it auto completed that forward slash and I hit control X control F and go down here and find something like cat. So uh, once again I hope you found this quick tutorial, uh, this little quick tip tutorial uh, useful. I know it's going to be useful for me, uh, you know, especially uh, I think especially if I'm working with something like Pi Game where I'm going to be accessing a lot of images and sounds I don't have to remember the exact name I can just look at it by hitting control X control F so once again thank you for watching and I'll have some more Vim tutorials coming at you here shortly thanks again have a great day and please visit filmsbychris.com that's Chris with a K there's links in the description <laughs>